Ah, let's chit chat for a little bit here, waiting for the latecomers to pop in. What'd you all do over your vacation? You had a week off. Any great insights, questions? Ah, what are you up to out there in relation to work? What are you up to out there? <clears throat> uh, sensei, this is Dennis. Dennis. <clears throat> uh, can we talk a bit about what we discussed yesterday? <clears throat> yeah, if you fill in, make sure you fill in for the folks. Yeah, yeah. okay. Oh. Sure, yeah. So I've been uh, working on this uh, project over the past uh, few months. Uh, uh, this is actually something that I've been thinking about for like 20 years, and it's finally starting to kind of come together. And uh, I had these uh, I had these meetings over the course of a couple of months with some folks, and I was uh, preparing for the meetings and, uh, got, you know, did all my kind of research and got myself ready inside as well as outside for them. And I went in on these meetings and, uh, you know, they went exactly as I, as I hoped that they would go. And, you know, I was able to listen very, very easily and adjust as needed and answer questions and ask questions and all that. It was like, they were perfect. And I ended up getting a really good thing, a kind of pretty much like everything I wanted kind of came out of it. And then came the point, now I'm moving into like the next phase of this project. And it's the point where I have to actually put it out there. And I got to tell you, I was telling Sensei yesterday that it just like one point last week, it just all kind of like, who the hell do you think you are trying to do this thing? You know, what is this that you're doing? And suddenly I was almost to the point of like, you know, panic in a way, you know, for, for a bit. And it took me about almost a day to realize what that was and settle back down, down here, you know, and like, no, I've gone this far. I have this experience. I know I can do it because I have proved it to myself over and over again easy, you know, easy with all that. And, and that uh, stuff that was coming up became really became fuel. And uh, it was a, uh, normally I know the other guy, you know, before, you know, a year ago, two years ago, would have just spun off on it and kept spinning off on it. And it would have just, you know, I would have fallen apart. But um, I, uh, I was something that, that surprised me to the way how quickly I caught what it was and how quickly I was able to get back on and adjust, make the adjustment and, and get back on track. So, and it's, you know, a lot of it and all of it is, is because of this work that we've been doing. So. Thank you. Yeah. It's kind of exciting. Yeah. So to reiterate, uh, so he was okay with the first phase of his plan. Now came the second phase, uh, more uh, put it into action, let's say. And the second phase apparently called up a lot more energies, pushed him a bit, you know, who am I kind of thing. But he caught it, he said, settled down, opened up. I would say, allowed the energies to mix. <sighs> so that the center is more equal to the circle, circle center, ah, allowed that, and is getting ready to um, whatever go into production or the second phase where he's got to activate a bit more and do, do something. But he's got now the nourishment. Uh, the plant has been fed. The better plant capable of doing this is there, and you can begin to feel that. I can actually go into the next phase and pull that off. So my my words for what he said. Are we okay, Danny? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it was exactly like it's exactly like that. Yeah. So. Good. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Thank you. Ah, people, where are we? Somebody else, something. Hmm. 
Um, hey, Bob, it's Catherine. I haven't heard from you, Miss Tornbaum. Where have you been? Yeah, I've been You're here. Back. Okay, hiding, yeah. but okay. I don't see everybody on, so. Uh -huh. um, I have sort of an interesting, I don't know if the other one was really business oriented, but I've started a new endeavor with a new business partner. And um, some inevitable sort of personality style differences have come up as we're working through. And all of a sudden, I had one of those, duh, kind of lightning bolts, like, oh, she's circle and I'm center. And I remember you asking me back in August, like circle center, and I said circle and you looked at me and you said, what, you sure? And I'm like, well, it was wishful thinking that I was circle. I, it's just, I'm, you know, straightforward. So um, having that insight has given me just an opportunity to really examine what is it around the circle that I can incorporate more of and she really has no language whatsoever for energy, for anything that we, we work with. But I brought it up to her today during our meeting uh, as we were talking about some uh, different values we have and how we want to move forward. And, you know, she got it, uh, you know, to a certain degree. So um, I just thought that was so curious that, oh, right, this is what I get to practice, if you will. Cool. Yeah, it's good when uh, your business partner in this case uh, and you that you sort of a similar language where where you can bring that up again at other times that should facilitate. Yeah. Back to your thing about you thought you were circle, but then you realize you were center type more. Uh, are you sure about that? Are you uh, are you a, com a combination? Because some people are center, circle, circle, center, tija likes the balance of that. Uh, are, would you mm. put yourself in that category or do you really consider yourself first the center type? You know, that's just such a good question for me to, to sit with. Yeah, in with. this circumstance, because she is so strongly center, I have to, I feel, I think some intuitive level that I need to balance and be very, very strongly center. But I know with Harv, he was very strongly center. So I think in that case, I could be very circle. I think, I think that's what I the framework I responded to when you asked me, you know, what was about six months ago, because I, I was still feeling so keenly the grief and the connection and uh, wanting that balance and that tapping into the power of the circle. Uh, so I'll, I'll give it, I'll definitely keep feeling it. Um, yeah, yeah. It, it, it can't hurt to play because it, in a certain way, it doesn't matter as long as you come to a conclusion to facilitate your continuation with more balance between center circle and circle center for your development. Uh, so just funning around with it would be cool to do whichever style you are at first. Uh, blah, blah, blah. I'm starting to gargle here, so. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. But it's hard to believe a, 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 a lineman for the county <laughs> is, is, is a really a vast circular style. There's got to be some center there someplace. Yeah, and, the alignment for the county. We used to sing about it. <laughs> yeah, uh, doing construction. Anyway. Yeah, thanks, Bob. Yeah, sure. Okay. Uh, people, how you doing out there? Anything? Okay, let's see. Uh, so I'm unmuted. I'll say something, Sensei. That's okay. Yeah. This is Dusty. Hey. I, I've been thinking about that center and circle too. 
and okay. like um, form and flow. And I probably more of a circle or flow. Like I can get lost in my imagination and forgetful and, um, but it's almost, and I kind of don't like the form. I don't like details and structure kind of, ugh. but what's been coming to me with these nights and with my practice is that form seems like there's some like movement in form or it's not so rigid. Oh, yeah. It's maybe I thought. Yeah. 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 Um. Yeah, when you realize there is, a, in that case, you could use form and flow, I guess, uh, that some of the form types lock into the form and they sort of get rigid, maybe rigid thinking, rigid body movement potential. Uh, uh, but when you realize there's two things going on, so form and in relation to the form is, should we call it flow, is a certain amount of flow. So within that form, it flows and it flows within that form. Uh, but sometimes people get locked in on one style, you know, the form, you got to do the form this way and keep doing it exactly that way. See the way my shoulders, you got to lift your shoulder like mine. You got to look like me. Okay. Uh, Reminds me of the uh, Frankenstein joke movie, Walk Like This. You remember that scene? I thought it was quite funny. Walk this way. <laughs> anyway, uh, thank you, Dustin. Thank you. Okay. Uh, should we move into tonight's thing? What was tonight's thing? Uh, positioning. Yeah, positioning. Okay, uh, we should take a couple of minutes, go over quickly the easy of the eye. Okay, I, um, let's see. You won't be able to see my tiny picture here. So we'll do that one. Uh, easy the eye, I don't want to do it as around here when I mean, you got a crazy thinking head. Easy, I got to easy that. Uh, there might be a lot of pressures or activity from the fuller of the system. So instead of trying to easy that craziness, easy infers something a little bit larger, a fuller. So at least at least this big around me. Okay, that's my starting reference. Easy, easy. And I'm sort of waiting till I feel like I'm at this level at this level. Should I do this standing? Let's just, let me do standing for a bit. Oop. Ah. Yeah. Okay. There we are. Okay, so easy the eye is not something I do in my head. Easy, easy. We're inferring here. Easy the eye here. Okay. Easy. Ah, easy. Easy. This is a good basic easy the eye because on a, a tighter congestion, you know, a, a three by to a two by to a one by to a half by, it sort of congests. And what we're just trying to do is clear that. Uh, clear that. So in a certain way, we could say we're starting from a congested level. Easy the eye, because the eye has got spun in there uh, into a tight, weird bobby. Okay, easy the eye, easy the eye. As the eye starts to unwind from this spin in, there's a little room. So I said the last time we did this, uh, you, you can't at first grasp what an eye is. I'm saying at first, let's just use this a little more spaciousness, just sense of a little more room, okay? As easy the eye, easy, easy. A sense feeling, sensing, 
sensing feeling there's a little more room ah sensing there's a little more room again not just an idea okay the whole thing is easy the eye this whole thing where the fullness of where i'm standing is easy the eye easy the eye okay so it's not just an easy the idea that's congested between my eyebrows easy here here okay and then we did different levels oh uh what do we want to call that different dimensions ah sometimes we check so for example easy the eye at a certain level there's a sense of a little more airy space here okay sensed experience and then I might say, okay, now let me check the body. Yeah, yeah, the body is moving better. I, it's one of my tight days. I didn't do any warm ups, any stretches. So I could start kind of tight. But this is suddenly, ah, the shifting is just kind of comfortable. Doesn't look too bad for a tight old man. It's not too bad for starters. Not my best level, but. Definitely. So an easing the eye, then I check back, see how the body was doing in the easy the eye. There was more space with easy the eye, so the body system mix started to get freer. Yeah. yeah. So some shoulder pain there. We'll see later how it goes. Easy, easy. We continue with the next level whatever word you want to use, dimension of easy the eye, easy, easy, easy. As if this open space may be uh, a little bit rounder here, maybe a sense of a little bit deeper, easy the eye, easy, easy the eye, easy the eye. The unwinding, continues, leaving more room here. Now at this level, easy the eye, double checking back with the body. At this level or this degree of more room. Oh. Let me check that shoulder again. Oh, less, less, it's still painful, but half, half of what it was a minute ago. And I noticed bending the knees is not too bad. Okay. Remember, I sit out on my chair all day, all, every day. So bending of the knees is, uh, oh, wow, they, they actually can bend a bit. Okay. So I'm just using checking the body to see if I'm on the right track with easy the eye. Easy the eye. Easy the eye. Not a thinking about it. It's a sense experience. Easy, let go. Let it unwind. There's a little more room here. Easy the eye. Maybe more of an internal sense. Easy the eye. Ah. Easy the eye. And then whatever things you would notice, like my breathing starting to change. In more room, this unit. Wants to begin to breathe better. Ah. Wants to open up his chest a bit. Wants to stretch the back there a bit. Ah, bend the knees, I just noticed. Oh, yeah. Ah. We're referencing things that are a bit deeper in opening. So it's a little more room, a little deeper. Checking back with how the body now that it's starting to open and easy, how the body is doing in that more openness. And I'll confer with you guys about that here. Okay. 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 Real quick, before we move on, easy the eye. A sense of that happening. Referencing back just to check now and then, 
but to make sure I'm on the right track. If it's easy, the eye, the body should be freer in there and start to do things freer. Ah, easy, the eye. I could have used other things. Could have used a chant, simple one. Could have started with, ah, easy, the eye, easy, the eye. Ah, and that more space. Oh. Okay, so I could have used a sound to see if things were opening pretty good. Whatever. Okay, a lot of different possibilities. Talk to me. Easy the eye. Seems a Chris here from New Zealand. I think it was a, a probably a perfect example of your one by one by one and your two by two, the body just naturally wanted to expand itself with that more room. That was I can see how that game appeared so naturally. Yeah. They're, I think they're basically all the same thing, just using different examples, but basically it's the same universe. Now, how do we trek through it and develop? Yeah. So whether it's a potted plant or a one by two by three by, or basically it's the same thing because we're in the same universe. Now it works is the same. Okay. Potted plant, the kind of plant you'll be will be different than somebody else's plant. You got musician plants, martial artist plants, therapist plants, you know, so, so that changes, but we're still all in the center circle dimensional creation, okay, from tighter to finer and finer and finer and finer, okay. I think that was not bad, badly said. Thank you. <laughs> oh, yes. any, any, anybody on that? Ah, easy the eye. Either any sense on, on the easy the eye sense or anything about the, the body as there's a little more freedom, how the body changes naturally. Sensei, Linda Eskin here. Hey, Linda. I found I was feeling more like settled, grounded, um, very stable, sort of melding with the floor under my feet. I'm standing, so just uh, a sense of coming coming down out of my my busy, scattered day. To... <sighs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. With practice, I think we'll tend not to go up so high and make that so important. Again, it's an ancient thing. Fortunately, they've been major overdoing that since the beginning. But that's why this here and now is so important. Words like roots, or that's why we introduce you to more depth and, and try to make it nicer. I don't know if energy does it. Let's call it nutrients. Let's use the potted plant the sense of nutrients of this deeper underworld it's not some scary bad place you see ah the here and now to move through the here and now of it okay. oh sensei don't go anywhere it's here and now but it's inner finer here and now don't go any place looking for something finer out there you you lose your lineup you lose your positioning so that's what we're trying to highlight here, positioning. So easy the eye here, okay? And better things happen. We'll continue, uh, so that's my word map. Some levels of easy the eye, easy the eye. So whether it's a Bobby Robert Nado level or a, a one by two by three level, of easy the eye, you come up with your own measurement tool. And then eventually, soon, right now, in fact, uh, the eye in its uh, more experience of itself, it was very elusive as I, it's an elusive word, but we checked back with the body to make sure we were on the right track. 
Hope I'm saying this clearly. As we continue to easy the eye, it, it's a self. It's a, a bigger piece of paper, a bigger piece of the canvas, uh, a bigger piece of the clear glass, uh, at which time uh, it want, maybe wants to name itself. It doesn't want to say I anymore. It wants to say I'm a self. Okay, it's just a continuation. Okay, so a, a more open I becomes a self. My, my word, somebody else could use the different words. Okay. Uh, did I say that okay? Was that sort of, Linda? Is that you? Very okay. Yes, thank okay. you. All right. So, self. Settling, easy the eye, easy the eye. And there is a self that's here. Now, whether it's at a good enough level to make its presence known or not, if not right now, it's very damn soon. Okay, you just continue with easy the eye and be open for something that flavor's a bit different. Self. Okay, self. Okay. Now, because we change words, don't go from I, I, I to self. Let me, let me think about self. Don't, don't, don't off someplace. It's here and now. I, easy the I is here, continuing eventually. Self, self is here, present. Self, okay. Now there's a certain level, dimensional level, where self begins to, I don't know what words to use, make itself known, you can sense it, not think about it, sense it, sense, experience it, that it's its own thing, experiencing itself, it's present, okay? I'm not talking about the energies that are centered and circled and mixing up a character. Right? Self, self. I don't want to get caught up in the energies because I'll get confused. Okay, so that's why I say it's kind of like a piece of paper. And yes, there will be some energy drawings anytime on that paper, centered a circle and it'll picture up a character. Oh, Robert or I'm a two by two -er, or I'm a, a, a fair day person. But I don't want to deal with that right now. Easy. I want to deal with self as piece of paper, piece of canvas, a piece of clear glass, self, okay? And I want to treat it here. So again, don't, let me think about self. Don't, don't do anything like that. Here and now, inner finer self. Okay. Somebody who's early in the game, your first sense, don't know if that's the right word, your first, uh, something is here. I'm feeling something. I don't know what words to use. Self. The beginnings of self showing its hair. Hey, Sensei. Who that? And I, th I think that uh, sometimes when you, when you, um, you say. Wait, I'm sorry. Wait, Mom. Who, who am I talking to? Sean. Sean. Go, Sean. So I think that um, you. I like when you say hush because that sort of like it takes it out of the head, the quieting of the discursive mind and goes more into body. And that body for me is, um, I don't know, when, it, when I start breathing, when I notice that it's not me breathing, but it's breathing, there's, there's a, it, it's like breathing itself. That's, that for me is something distinctive. That's the body breathing itself now. Get off the picture. Yep. Let's come back to the clear piece of paper self. You have anything to say about self?
<laughs> if not, it's okay. Um, I would say um, so. that there's there's more refinement and it just mean uh, self. That's another word. Self. Self yep. fused refined. What does that mean? Uh, or what is that self? That's okay, Sean. We'll pass on you. Yep. I don't yep. go over and break down me Good. now. Thank you. Somebody. First sense of self. Of self. Help. Say it's a, a, a sense for me is like a, there's a space, but it's not the space of the body's space. It's a, a, a different space. Um, like before we had space and the body would move, but this space is still, it's almost separate. And is, uh, for me, there's a waiting. There's a, okay, there's space. It's very calm. Okay. It's separate from that, from that body space. Very different. Okay. So the texture or something. Yeah, Seems I was going to say texture, but yeah, okay. well, it was a bit. Yeah, thank okay. you. There's a textural difference. Sense self, self. Somebody almost. Like, yeah. Chris, what? I was almost almost like there's like some someone's in the room, sort of feeling like there's a. Okay. A, like there's somebody else here, and it's not. I. <laughs> so, <laughs> like something's going to pop out of the cupboard. <laughs> Thank yeah. you. And later, as as we get you to return, for lack of words, to yourself and more of yourself and more of yourself, where self is there, being self, uh, it'll say something like that to you. It'll say, you know, I've always been here. You've been running around, but I've always been here. Nice that you came back to you, me, it's you, self is you. But we detached, we spun off, we got involved. So as we easy the eye, we're just coming back to ourself, ourself. And we'll continue with, uh, uh, and come up with your own words, a finer self, a more original self, a clearer self, the more original self. That's just some of the words that I use to, to keep it going or to keep going with it. You all come up with your own words that uh, make sense to you there or, or uh, you have a feeling for, okay? So all we're doing with a tight eye is unwinding and in the unwinding, returning back to a better level of easy the eye, a nado instead of a weird bobby, and then self. And in self. Weird <laughs> body. <laughs> go ahead. Uh, oh, I was laughing. Who's that? Dusty? Who? I can't hear who that is. Uh, I, I was laughing. Sorry, I just thought it was funny that you said a Nado. Uh, uh, I don't know what you said about yourself. Sorry, I was muted. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. Uh, now, people, we've touched on self before. Okay, we had, I think, at least one good session with it. At that time, by the way, I want to make a little correction. I threw out the word over self. Hmm. I, I, I don't think we ought to use that. I think we ought to erase that because over self has a sort of sense of up here, over self. And the emphasis now is on the positioning. Self is here. Easy the eye is here. Self is here. And as we move into finer and finer and finer, it's here. So I always sense I said, don't go anywhere inner finer dimension hereness okay one reason he stuck to uh, also had his hand in a physical art to try to improve that hereness okay as opposed to just being another philosoph 
philosophical, I am aware of things up here. He told me he could have done that, but there's other teachers teaching that, and he thought they were missing something. The hereness, okay? Also understanding the underworld as being a beautiful thing. It's not some horrible whatever. In finer dimensions, it's true colors or true nutrients, whatever, begin to show. And we're part of that. We're part of that. That's the whole lineup thing. Blah, blah, blah. I'm going to get lost here soon. Uh, somebody, where are we? <laughs> self, where are we? Self, self, self. Uh, Susan, you on tonight? No? Susan? Yes, sir. I she's, she's with us. Can you, can you hear uh, don't, me okay? jump, don't jump too far for the troops. She's sort of advanced on self now. We've been working a lot. Uh, but this earlier stage of bumping into yourself, help me with words here, of where self begins to make itself known. I don't have the words. Help me. Yes. And in that earlier, yeah. earlier self. Yes. You, uh, you said something to someone shortly ago about self has been around for a long time. And that was the first thing that showed up for me tonight was the longevity, the continuity um, that self has been around for a very long time and self will be around for a long time. Yeah, forever. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. So she's at an interesting level where uh, uh, the innate intelligence of self is speaking about itself. It, it's it's sort of saying, "I've been around for a long time," and whatever else she she said. Yes. So. And yes, and will be around for a long time. And will be. Yeah. Yeah. Don't get caught up in odds and ends and lose sight of me. I'm, I'm the paper all these drawings are going on in. The paper goes the distance. If you're in, interested in an original, original beginning, <laughs> don't lose the paper for God's sakes. Don't get wrapped up in, wow, 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 wow. It's here. you got a straight line shot. Y'all do straight line shot here and now. Easy. Oh, help me. I don't want to get lost. Self, self, self. The earlier stages of self, where, wherever you're at. Any sense of self? You're asking for descriptions of how people experience it as they easy the eye and bump into the self. Yeah. Easy to eye, easy to eye, easy to eye. And eventually, self is there. Okay. And as you continue, easy, the finer of self, because as you're easier, really moving through a dimensional, inner, finer dimensional. So the better of self can show to the point where you go, oh my God, yes, something is here. It's not an imagination, it's not a I hope so. It's not my idea. It's a something here, self. Don't know how to say it any better. We have to create a whole new language here. Anyway, nobody wants to say anything about self when it first begins to show its presence. Hello? Sensei. Sensei. Oh, Sensei. Um, there we go. Yes. <laughs> Somebody? Who was that? <laughs> Uh, Linda, <laughs> hello, me again. Um, given that what I was sensing earlier was a sense of settling and sort of downward stable energy, what was coming up for me now in the context of self is um, is feeling like um, like some sort of support, foundation, um, an anchor or like the tail on a kite, something to kind of let me be freer without coming loose from the earth or sinking oh, through. Okay, hold it there on that word. That's that's a good word. Uh, that uh, 
you all should pick that up eventually. Uh, there starts to be a lot of freedom in self. Okay. Remember, the I was locked in by Bobby Robert Nando. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but easy, easy dimensional. And one of the things self uh, will show, or highlight, will be a bit more freedom of itself. It, it's freer. Yeah. Eventually, am I jumping the gun here? Uh, you get to a self that is not in the confines of the manifest, Osente's language, the manifest creation. If we go, shoom, 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 we move out of that manifest universe into finer, and definitely there the self is saying, uh, will express its freedom. It's really free. So, yeah. If I had to put it in words, the, the words I would hear self saying are like, I've got you. Like, you, you can feel freer within this support. Okay. Somebody? the early stages of a self-presence. Sensei, this is Liam. Liam? Um, and so for me, what I'm getting kind of in these early stages is just kind of a, a feeling of a beat and and kind of just observing. There's all the creative things that can kind of come, my, the referencing I can do, but that's not self. Those are the things that are kind of getting drawn on the paper. But just as I reference this this beat, and that's if I just follow that track, that brings me more and more into self. Okay. Uh, maybe, maybe, uh, maybe we say self is also part of the center circle, circle center beat. Okay. Uh, just be careful you don't suddenly get caught up in the drawing that's going to occur mm -hmm. there and and stop playing with self right We're playing with uh, a picture that goes on at that level self uh, but I sort of don't want to get into that right now kind of thing yeah but but the self may catch there's a beat of self because there's an original center circle in the very beginnings of creation one of the early moves was to have a center circle beat to create, okay? You need yeah. to create. So it's a very early piece of creation. So all along the way, there is that beat, okay? Right, oh, yeah. 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 Uh, if, if I can add uh, kind of a, a sense that I get from that is differentiating what self and what's the creation and feeling the mix getting a good mix from that, not getting mixed up, but getting a good mix of creation and self. Yeah, we'll, we'll do that along the way, kind of like I did on this, the first standing one, we just uh, uh, easy, 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 easy. And then I checked with the body, the mix, to see how it was doing. We'll, mm. we'll do the same thing here, but not, not right now, maybe not even tonight, whatever, but easy the eye, you're at a certain level. And then you can say, okay, and I don't want the wording again, we got to create a whole light language here. Shifting my focus, ah, I don't like that because it's focus, let me look and see. Uh, shifting to, okay, now at this level that as self I'm at, because of the energies in and out, and because there's a character on the center, certain kind of plant. Where am I? Uh, who am I, the character? And to feel the energy, uh, the colorings, the, the paint brushes. Yeah. And then you could just check and see what level you're at by that experience. And then sh shift your focus. Oh, I'm not right. Let go of that and go back to the paper, continuing with the paper. Did I say that right, people? I was following Sensei, yeah. Yeah, yeah that was great. I, I just, it's important that we don't get confused with clear, easy the eye, paper, and suddenly 
energies. Okay. And think, oh, those energies are easy the eye or that self. And I, no, no, no. The paper is the paper. The drawings are the energy stuff. They overlay. The languaging isn't great, but not too bad. Easy, easy. So, okay. Uh, let's move a little fast. Oh, positioning. Again, do be careful of, of uh, starting now. Go out and have an idea about self. Again, it's here. Easy self is here. Okay. When O Sensei stood there as O Sensei or Ueshiba of Aikido, even better, uh, it was here. It was here. All this inner, finer stuff was here, showing in the heavier dimensions. It was here, it wasn't a belief. I believe he was trying to show the hereness of it. Okay. He could have done certainly a better job. It's okay. I say these things. I've talked to him about this, but uh, uh, because there was a, a lot of fear by the Japanese of the underworld. So he had to be careful. He couldn't use certain words with them because they already had in the war and the occupation. Uh, it, it, a lot of the words about the underworld were kind of words they heard when they went off to battle and died and stuff. And anyway, uh, they just don't have a good sense of under, not that Americans do. Hell is there and heaven is up there. Oh, stay away from this. Uh, but where am I going? Where am I, going? Uh, I got lost. Bear with me. <laughs> oh. The here and now of things, here and now. Okay, that we have to catch on. And one day, maybe we'll dialogue a bit of how did it happen that we suddenly got into this upper, finer dimension meditation and lost this rootedness. Okay, and one day we'll bullshit a little bit about that, not tonight. We're eating up time, but well, we'll, we'll try the dialogue as a possible example. Yeah. Uh, but time to include this whole presence, which includes the underworld and the finer dimensions of underworld, the nutrients of the underworld, centered and circled, circled and centered. The whole schmear? <laughs> Is that the proper use of mine? Do you want to say anything about positioning in relationship to this um, to help us get a better picture of how you do that? I get the idea that we should do it, and I think we're all opening and feeling it. I uh, just wonder if you have any, anything uh, more you want to say in that area. Uh, and maybe not, no worries. Uh, uh, come on, come on, Brad. There's the first dumb example. <laughs> Easy. Here, a little bit deeper, energies are mixing up a better center. Starting to break. Easy. Deeper. It's sort of opening, so I know I'm moving into another dimension here. And here, mixing up better here. Starting to break. And another one, he, I won't break with that. It's here. What can I say? It's here. <laughs> it's a, a sense of opening up here. Why don't some people catch the depth and the opening? 
maybe because of the fear of the underworld. Oh, I'm not going to open up. There's a crocodile there. If I open up, he's going to bite me on the ass. So, oh yeah, I'll be aware of it, but I ain't going to experience it. Not really. Not really. Is that what the problem is? The fear of the underworld. So I don't know what else to do, but lay out those old ancient practices, which are really cool uh, uh, to tell us we're heading in the right direction. And then just continue to head in that direction, sense experience deeper, sense experience opening. I don't know what else to say. It but sounds I, like- To a, me, there's a no third. other tricks. <laughs> It sounds like a paraphrase of, of what he said to you. It's now you saying to us, it's so easy, you guys. It's so easy. Yeah. Because it's dimensionally boom, 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 boom. Now, one problem is the fear of the underworld. So when you go boom, 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 some people go boom, 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 boom. And they like the awareness. They're good at it. Unfortunately, they're missing this half and the totality there for. So once you get past that misunderstanding about underworld, uh, it's here, 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 here. You're right in alignment with an original. Uh, we'd have to, in that case, uh, 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 say the original creation circle with the center that way, that when you're positioned here, jing, 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 you're heading right towards that, okay? I sort of didn't want to use that circle type because people have a tendency to be aware of it. Uh, at first we have to do a lot of height, depth, underworld, upper, upper, underworld kind of thing. Uh, but anyway, whatever, you're in direct line with, direct line with. Yeah. Hey, uh, you like the phrase, a uh, golden bridge. Is that the right phrase? Golden bridge of senseis? Floating bridge. Floating bridge of heaven. Yeah. I it's mean, just a direct yeah. line. We have yeah, floating bridge. It flows all over here. Here's your floating bridge. Easy. There's a direct line from finer self. Shoom. Here. That's where old sensei was so cool. Shoom. Shoom. You can move from this old man and have something happen where this fantastic being was here. Floating bridge. We're in direct alignment. So the position, I'm just trying to help you start better aligned. It's here. Okay, don't come up here and look around at it. You're losing the hereness of it. Okay. And those people who are more uh, circular types tend to have a lot of awareness. Okay, and they're smart. But it's like, yes, but there's also this experience, this part that will help us stay in alignment, in alignment. Okay, so if you're having trouble being aligned more and more and more, one guess might be a fear of the underworld, believe it or not. Okay, that seems to be a major misunderstanding uh, throughout creation. Anyway, ah, let's move along here. Checking my time, okay. Uh, self, self, self. Uh, Susan. Susan. Yes, yes, Sensei. Okay. Dialogue a bit. Self and the continuation of self. You following me? Uh, yeah. Let them hear your voice instead of my voice for a while. Okay, um, if I could speak for just a moment on the underworld. One thing I really like about the potted plant theory mm -hmm. is how well it reminds us to 
connect to the roots, to be, to have roots, and to connect with the nutrients. So that image with the potted plant theory, I think really, really helps with that under connection. I, I also thought so because it was a benign, is that the right word? Benign uh, way of presenting the underworld. <laughs> Uh, and it's pretty close to the truth. <laughs> yeah. Settle, open, you get more nutrients for the center. You have your own character, so you're, you're your own plant. So center and plant and you character, uh, that's all the same thing there. And you're in relation to the circle and the circle helps the center and the center gets better, uh, touches the circle better, but if it's mutual, there's a more than harmony between those two. Okay. Uh, as you go finer, uh, uh, they'll show more their harmony. It's very, very tangible. Okay, now don't confuse people. Move on to self. Self continuing with self. How would you lay that out to them? Or give us your experiences along the way. Susan, you there? Did we lose her? Susan? She's on the road. We may have lost her. Yeah. Lost her? I think so, yeah. I, I don't see her listed now, Bob. Yeah, sometimes on the road. Uh, oh, she's call drop. Uh, she's way up there in the boonies, so we lose her now and then. When I talk to Susan, I sometimes we have to make five calls back and forth because <laughs> we keep dropping calls. Anyway, self. I think Chris here from New Zealand. I like the way um, the reference back to that sort of character and that that underworld sense. Because certainly for me, I always find that that shooting back up into the head so dropping back down into that um that sort of lower field not so much the body um has certainly helped the relationship with self sort of come forth and um, um so i had a i had a interesting sort of meditation session and it was the same thing i sort of keep beaming up into the head and um it was like no it's you, you, I kept the linear line is how I kept seeing it. It was always going straight up to the head. Whereas this head, no, it's not linear to the head. It's in sort of in me, you are. So the yeah. self is almost in in a, internal. Yeah. Yeah. So it was almost for me, self, I guess as a, as a, as you say, the, the language, it was almost a, a pure beam inside which manifested but in that manifesting got tangled up with all our extra bits and pieces the wrapping the the layers the dimensions into that heavier so that sort of relationship so the body had to let go and the self also had to work in relationship to help let go of some of that 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 winding up which i sort of i'm not too sure that's quite correct but that was the, the sense i had out of that that moment so I, I recognize that always going up into head and coming back down into that underworld and letting go of each layer, coming back to peeling back those layers. Sorry if I spoke fast. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, yeah. So, you enter, you move from wherever you are. Yeah. You're a one by one. You do a little something uh, and you enter a two by two space. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. 
Okay. At first, you're looking around, so to speak, and it's not clear. You don't, maybe you don't see anything. Okay. It looks maybe empty. Easy, you hang out, easy. Now the energy activity in a two by two will begin to make itself known. And there'll be energies up and down. I'm a center type, so that shows easily for me first. Ah, center up and down. And then the parameters or circle. Oh, I'm in this room. So I hang out there in the two by two and they mix up me character. I'm a two by twoer or change the, 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 uh, the words. Oh, I'm a fair day guy. Oh, I'm a Robert. I'm not a Bobby anymore. Ah. And I act like Bobby and I talk, or Robert, uh, act like him, talk like him, move like him. It's not as good as Nado, but it gets me through the day sometimes. <laughs> Get on the mat. I can't be a Robert. I've got to pick up the pace. Robert doesn't do it for me on the mat. I got to be a Nado minimum, minimum. Uh, so I take a moment there pew, for that to happen, okay? Uh, so in the space, mm -hmm. things, the drawings will get drawn, okay? So don't clutter up the space and the drawings and stuff is all I can tell people. Catch, what I'm saying is an ongoing pattern in more space. If that's a space of easy the eye self, okay, then the drawings will start. Okay, the character will be there at that level. You hang out and experience that for whatever, and then you let it all go and you continue back to self, the next level of self. You continue, get to a finer level. Then, if you want, you can. Uh, put your attention backward onto the drawing. And at that level, it draws nicer, clearer, and creates a little better character. So uh, uh, what, what's the word? Uh, um, not clarity, uh, a simple math. I, I, I'm trying to lay out a simple math here, okay? What's a couple of odds and ends of tricks? Uh, if you get pushed up, you said a couple of times, pushed up the center. Uh, okay, easy. Check your opening, check your pipeline, because it doesn't want to push you up into the head per se. Check your opening. So when it comes up and down, it's mixing up and the center to the circle and the circle to the center. So you don't have to get pushed all the time and deal with that. You naturally open a bit more, open a bit more. So it doesn't push you, it just moves. And the movement is really going to become a mixing. So you learn little tricks like that to save time, make it easier. Right? If it pushes me up into my head and I go a little bonkers for a while, it's going to take me a while to ha, ha, hey, ho, ba, da. Uh, I, I get bored with doing kindergarten stuff over and over and over that way. So I learned little tricks along the way. Okay. If you feel it's going to push you too strong, back off. Settle down a little bit more, open up a bit more. So when you step into the of, of it, you're more open for it. It doesn't push you. It mixes you fuller. Okay. It's mixing up three by three here. If you're a two by two or stepping into a three by three, it's probably going to push you around. Of course it is. So you sort of catch that. Oh, this is going to be stronger. Better double check my opening here. So when you step into it, you're open to it and it mixes up faster, better. Boom, you're a three by three. -er. So little tricks like that. If you play, you, you sort of learn your own tricks. I'll mention some along the way, but also you have to learn your own little tricks so to speak, I, I do believe. I can't teach you every little trick, maybe. I'm not sure. Well, well I think the, the going down, that settling, is um, letting go has been amazing. It's been a, a huge point for me in my journey. Yeah. That each character let it right go 
and then come back up. It's been brilliant. Uh, Bob, if you care, Susan is back with us. Susan. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, Chris. Uh, Susan. Thanks, sorry about that. You should yeah. be. Can you hear me? I'll teach you to live out in the boonies. Yes, <laughs> I think you sound pretty clear. Okay. okay. If you were laying out in your words for the troops here, uh, self and self and more self, how, how, how would you lay that out? What, what's your progression of sensed experience of self you're on? I want to tag on to something I just heard you saying about Wait. as I play with more of the transparency of self, the naturalness and the ease of whatever character that shows in a situation becomes much. Susan? Susan? Easier and fuller. So, for example, if something. Susan, we lost you for a sentence. Can you go back one? Yeah. Susan, um, and hold it a moment. Susan, hold it. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, you brought up transparency of self. Susan, I'm talking to the troops tonight. We have not introduced that. It's a little advanced. Oh. oh. I, excuse me while I chide, Susan. Okay. Self to self to self. We're not quite ready for transparency of self. That's in a very advanced word we'll get to eventually, I hope, people. Susan, you're on. Yes. Go. Okay. Uh... <laughs> Can I say that at a better level of self, I don't feel the pressures that I would normally have felt. Okay. Could that be the level where we're obviously moving past the manifest universe? I think so. Okay, that yeah. might be there, yeah. And again, that's a big jump. Can you continue with next self? No transparent yet. <laughs> next self. Was Linda referred to earlier that the freedom, the sense of freedom, yeah um it is and, and yet at the same time it's a, it's a reassuring sense of freedom it's not a sense that i'm lost kind of freedom mm -hmm. it's a, it's a reassurance that i am free but i'm yeah. lined up as self yeah yeah uh, and right there would be important uh san diego you like that right she was repeating your words, right? She was saying it better. Yes, a reassuring oh, well. sense of freedom. Very, very good. <laughs> I like that better. Okay. And, and uh, 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 you said something, Susan, about uh, the freedom, but, uh, and it's a good trick here, in freedom, there might be a tendency, especially for those who come out of a long history of awareness, uh, to be free in their awareness, where I would suggest you still stay, I use the line up, the presence, that there's still a center circle, even in the freedom of self, and you kind of use that for a reference, and there's a character there, even at that level, and you use that for a reference, so you don't suddenly become an awareness-free floater, which would be a strong tendency for a lot of people, and they lose the uh, bit, 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 boom, to, to more original. 
because they start to go, wow, hey, woo, free. Uh, so I like what you said. You sort of inferred there was a <sighs> positioning still. Yes, yes. And what I was trying to say earlier when I lost you was that um, that sense that I had earlier of continuity and longevity, there's a sense of I'm positioned on that line. So again, a sense of placement in your word tonight of positioning yeah. on that line of continuity, longevity, yeah. foreverness. Yeah. And that line could be seen as the bridge or the, uh, I used to call it stringer. Uh, what's the baby word? Uh, what's the baby cord? Jesus, people. And umbilical. Thank you. Umbilical cord. <laughs> that you're on there at a certain level, but you're on that cord. You can't get lost. There's a heavier and click, click, click. There's a finer and there is a, a home base eventually, eventually, eventually. You're on the line. So that's what I was trying to say with that. Uh, keep position because you're, you're in alignment with. Okay, you don't have to torque around and look and da, da, da. I know it's fancy. Been there, done that. I know it's fancy, but it's not good enough. It's, 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 we'll lose you along the way eventually. Oh, in a nice place. We call that the hammock space. Oh, yeah, this is cool. Uh, but that's not how to do it properly. We got integration. We have to get back to the beginning eventually, or the origin. What's those things they call it? The source, uh, the one. You like source? I like source. Source is a good word. The source before the creation, there's a beginning source. Uh, and that's our eventual destination, eventually. But if you start tripping out a certain way, uh, God could be adding eons of time here. Uh, so uh, to retain all along the way, uh, positioning, positioning. Okay. Can't go wrong with that sense of a center, circle, circle, center. That goes the distance. Uh, character, believe it or not, goes the distance. That, I think spiritually has been lost in spiritual uh, work. Uh, not uh, acknowledging the character, the Bobby Robert Nado pattern. Uh, later, the characters get very fancy. Uh, we'll have to dialogue that a bit sometime. Uh, I think we're eating up our time here. Susan, uh, uh, thank you. Thank you, Sensei. Yeah. Um, anyway. People, self, come on, easy, self. Oh, positioning. So if we square away, my word, square away, and I begin to do my uh, inner, finer, dimensional work, a couple of levels, just to check, that I, and I'm retaining my squared awayness at those levels, Bobby, Double check squared away, Robert double check squared away, not do double check. Good enough. I want you to get the flavor of how it works. Now we can begin to move faster after a while. Not faster as an idea, faster retaining this lineup positioning. Okay. What me and Susan have been playing with is uh, we line up a bit. And then, for lack of words, we haven't developed the language yet. They say, self, could you position a better with this a body, let's call it. Could you position better with this body? Okay. And then we double check again here. So from heavier, double check. And again, we make a call to self. Self, sense of self. Self, could you be present here, better aligned? And what I'm trying to do with that is we're seeing a lot of selves that are hoverers, they hover around, 
we're seeing some selves that are over to the side saying, I'm, I'm here. But if you sort of go inside, you're sort of empty. because They're over here. Uh, I told you a couple of stories, so I'll mention one uh, where uh, uh, if uh, Florida Diana, if you're on, not tonight, uh, this uh, uh, sick kid, some disease, guaranteed to die. Uh, and I thought, well, for, for research work, let me, let me work with them. So I asked the parents if I could uh, use their kid to check out. And they were game for anything because they knew the kid was going to die. Um, and so I asked the self that was way up, virtually in another astral plane. I mean, he was whoosh. And I said, hey, if you come down here and line up, I don't know what words I was using in those days. This goes way back. Line up to this kid. We can maybe get some healing here. We can maybe heal him. And the guy way up there said, hell no, I'm not going to hear and line up. And so we had a bit of a bitch with each other for a bit. Uh, uh, but then maybe he was more right because the kid, uh, the way I would explain that, uh, his car was a total wreck. And I was asking the owner of the car to take possession of this total wrecked car. And the owner said, screw you. I don't want that car. <laughs> Give me my insurance money. I don't want that car. Okay. So that was somebody who was really pretty far away. <sighs> One me and Susan were working on a young lady because the family uh, the, da, 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 were fighting too much. And the self was up here and we call in a cave, just a little bit up and in a cave, but wasn't fully here. So we asked the self, what's the problem? Ah, they're fighting and say, hey, it's icky. I said, well, if you come here and be more present, <clears throat> you have an effect on your surroundings, your parents. I think in that case, Susan asked the parents to tone down their fighting <laughs> near the kid. Uh, anyway, so the, so the kid did, the self did align better with the kid and Susan could see the results pretty quick. The kid was a, the, really a beautiful little girl and her beauty was showing and her presence was there and all kinds of uh, other stuff. So we've been playing a lot with selves. Uh, uh, and there's a lot of not good positioning by selves. So what, uh, my main point uh, would, would be if we sit and settle, easy to the eye first, first your first basics for a few moments, self, 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 and ask ourself to position better in relation to this body. It's not an idea in relation to the body. So it's here, inner, finer, here, here. Richard, I don't know how to say that better. Here, it's here. It is here. <laughs> okay. Idea about it is nice, but you still got to do all of this to have it here. Okay. So idea is idea. The actual experience is the actual experience. The actual. Oh, sensei, put it in your body. So it's here. Okay, in this case, through the finer, we're calling on self to say, would you position better? Okay, and we're thinking that's potentially really cool. If it positions better, uh, it has its own kind of aliveness, not an energy, don't want to get confused with energies, but self itself is sort of alive. There's a better word than that, but I can't think of what it is right now. Uh, it's sort of alive. As it positions better, its present aliveness radiates and highlights all the other stuff, highlights the energy body, the physical body, the surroundings. It, it radiates because it has its own life force. Uh, I'm sorry, I, I don't have to write the word. Okay. 
So it's just positions. There's a lot of healing possibilities. That, that's just one, one item. Uh, but those people who are in need of healing, this is the major. Easy. As self or any, even any level uh, um, of self along the way, boom, it being more present, you'll get that radiation. But a, a better level self, a better level self should even be better. Okay. Yeah. So a lot of healing amongst other things. If you're, and also to realize after a bit that the distance from here to self is not really a distance. As you fun around, begin to realize, shit, it's just really close. And then we refer back to sensei, no time or space. Okay. I couldn't figure that out. But as I played more and more, I said, oh, Jesus, this is this that at first seemed like a, a three galaxies away, a la Star Trek, is really quite right here. Okay. Yeah. We tried to show you the first baby, uh, Brad, the first baby. A milk over? No. No, I need your arm. Oh, okay. <laughs> the first baby in intro, just a. Uh, yeah. Okay. Easy. Some degree of an energy level, energy through the body. <laughs> better? Mm -hmm. yeah. I can feel much better. Uh, it wasn't far away, it was right here. Okay. Now, at first, you might want to settle and open and all that stuff to touch it. But after a bit, it's like click, hey, there it is. And it's still gone and still gone and still gone. So we show these baby examples, but don't throw them out. That is that is that is that is that is that. Okay, so uh, careful of those simple practices. You know, yeah, that's simple. No, it's the beginning of a pattern that repeats and repeats and repeats. Repeats in a finer dimension, yes, but repeats. The basics in there are all the same. It repeats, thank God. This creation would be insanity if we didn't have some potential for a repetitive kind of thing. We'd be locked, locked in the lobster trap forever. We'd never be able to get out of that. Thing. Fortunately, it repeats. Easy the eye, later becomes easy the self. Easy the self, later becomes easy the finer self. It, it, it repeats. It, it repeats is an okay word. So, anyway, uh, so if we can align you better to begin with, a couple of levels, you can make a call on yourself to be present, invite it sort of in, I think is what I'm doing. So self is more present, self is more present. And when self is there and so so close, uh, that's cool, that's cool. You play with it. We ate up our time. Thank you for hanging out. Thank you, thank you. See you next week, I think, I hope. <laughs> Thank you, Sensei. Thank you, Bob. Okay. Thanks very much Thank you, for sensei. everyone being here. Lauren will be back Thank next you, week, sensei. same time. Thank same you, state. Bob. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, Sensei. Thanks, Thank you, Sensei. Good night, Thank all. You, Thanks, Sensei. Thank you.